Patty Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewThinks.com, bringing you the next edition of Gemmer Junk. This week out, we're going to be playing Acid Drop <laughs> on the Atari 2600. This is an important game because this is the last commercial game on the Atari 2600. So, uh, it's basically columns where you're just, you're lining stuff up. Um, you get three in a row, see? Um, I think you could do it diagonally, too. Or you can't do it diagonally. But, uh, this is an interesting, uh, game to say the, aw, oh, man, see? Some of these colors are, like, way too close to each other. Like, you could have played with the palette a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, I mean, this is a working Atari 2600 game. Um, that's gonna fall down. Oh. That is very, very interesting. So, you kind of have to wait the next turn to break them down, and then they change color. Hmm. This music is pretty annoying, but, I mean, I don't know many Atari 2600 games that had, um, music playing throughout this, so that might have taken up some of the, uh, processing power and stuff like that. So anyway, this is the last, like, this is the last commercial Atari 2600 game. So if you're, like, a super duper Atari fan, this is a game you you kind of have to own. Um, I mean, I'm playing it. It's it's interesting. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's it's not pitful. Um, yeah, it's playable. Um, for a historical point of view, I would pick it up. It just, um, I don't like that these pink colors are so close to one another. Kind of, it makes it really freaking annoying. You've got to, like, keep your eyes focused throughout, like, the entire time. Oh, let's see. Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh, I didn't know you could... Mmm... I just like switch colors, but anyway, gem or junk, I'm gonna say gem, even though it's it's far from perfect. It's interesting. It was released in 1992. It's like 10 years after the labor of love and stuff. So, anyway, check it out, play it. <laughs> 